welcome to another episode in the Everything and Anything world. Currently we are in uh, Montenegro and we are approaching the capital city of Podgorica. Look at this uh, beautiful landscape with all the wine yards and um, there is also a little bit of rain so you could exactly see the clouds. It's really nice here. Actually there is much less trash around than in Albania or Macedonia. It looks cleaner here. The journey from Duras to Podgorica it took like six hours, really really long. We're not expecting that and uh, well Dobrodošli u Podgorice. So we're gonna go and explore a little bit. I could honestly say that this city could be well known for its numerous parks. The parks are on every single corner. I mean you just finish walking from one, you cross the road and there is another park. Again and again. It's, it's cool. You can just wander around and uh, see all the different parks. And every is a little bit different. Currently we are at the train station in Podgorica because we want to buy the tickets to Belgrade. So the capital of Serbia. It's our third time here. Because uh, at first they didn't have the um, sleeping um, car for us. Now they got it, but there is no electricity in the whole city. So we don't know how can we buy the ticket. So the lady is like, come after one hour, come after one hour. So that's the situation right now. Um, hopefully we can get the sleeping car and the tickets. So we can finally go to Belgrade. This is a square of independence, so I suppose the, that's the memorial for the independence too. Um, further there you can see a shopping mall, it's rather old. But um, I could honestly say about the city, it's um, actually pretty clean. Um, if I were to compare it to other countries which we've been before, I, I can tell this is the cleanest one for sure. For people who are wondering um, what language do they speak in Montenegro, it's Serbian and they actually use the Euro for, as, a, as a currency. This is country with population only of 600,000 people. Um, I don't know exactly how many people live in, in the capital city, Podgorica, but it's really like rather small and quiet town. The biggest church in Podgorica is the Cathedral of Resurrection of Jesus Christ. Um, I will try to go in and uh, see how is it from inside. There seem to be quite some people, so something is happening for sure. It's beautiful inside. Really nice. I can understand why somebody is going to get married here. Wow, lots of gold on the on the walls for sure. This I would say is rather odd. I never seen like safari in the church, uh, as you can see on the ground. Oh, not safari, it's, I guess it's not an arch, but I mean still it's rather like strange to see like zebra and giraffe are, like paintings in the church. In all of these cities, there is always a contrast. So, like, nice cathedral, and then just like parking lot with some like rather old and a bit ugly buildings of flats. One of the beautiful scenes in Podgorica with a small beach. As you can see, people are even taking a bath. And I don't know if you can see, actually, there is a um, Montenegro flag. Mm. 
what an interesting building in the middle of the road but of course they they put the billboards there like advertisement i mean it would look much better without for sure but anyway this is how podgorica looks like it's not very interesting there are not many things to see but the people are really nice so it's a good town to visit sure for one day i would say so this is the hotel which we stayed at but uh, i need to recommend the restaurant here it's super cheap and super tasty i mean amazing kitchen we had lunch here um dinner and two breakfasts i mean the whole day we just been eating here when we went to city we came back to eat here it's just right at the station you cannot miss that hotel Europa, perfect place So this is our night train to Belgrade, it will take 10 hours, it costs it 35 euros and supposedly we should have a sleeping car, so it should be a really nice journey. So this is how the sleeping car looks like, you have a bed, a few beds, like three beds, and here you even have a sink. with an actual water hmm? and here you can see the other room with three beds so if you are going like a group it's perfect